All right, so we've got the plane here, it's at a gate. Um, I'll really quickly change delivery to Qantas. So I'm, I'm really lazy today, so I, um, I'm at Sydney International. I'm just gonna put it on the best runway based on winds. Go to the airport, so it's, what's it, what's it, what, what, it, what it's doing is it's putting me on a runway based on the uh, best wind. There you go. All right, so let's get this baby started. Right here, we're just gonna set the autopilot. Now, the interesting thing is they've talked about the, the uh, what a part is only seeing that we activated the nose goes down during um, takeoff. There's been at least two aircraft that have experienced pretty disastrous situations. The plane has actually crashed. It's really sad. Right, so we set the heading to straight ahead. I think I'll just um, set the uh, autopilot to about 280 knots. We are too quickly. Okay, so now we're gonna just take off. So we're just gonna. See how this plane goes. I really have not flown a whole lot with this aircraft. So I really don't know what to expect. Okay, so the main thing is the autopilot. So let's see if we get a stable climb, which we are. Let's just um, turn the autopilot. All right, looks like this, this plane doesn't have a very well-developed cockpit, so we're heading control. Um, pitch attitude control. Velocity control. And there you go, there's your nose going down, right down into the ground. Let's just turn the autopilot off. Um, let's just see if we can, ah, oh, there we go. That is usually not what you want to happen on an aircraft. Now, if that happened in real life, you would have had people in the back of the plane, like hitting the ceiling. That's pretty deadly, what you just saw there. Now, I didn't know the airport, that like, the autopilot was even working. And, and, and because this aircraft is actually a, uh, not a very developed aircraft in flight gear. It could just be that. It may not actually be. But I was interested when I saw this in the I'm like, I'm gonna try this out flight gear and actually see how this aircraft behaves. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, really quickly just showed you that I was running into the, pretty much the same problem as what was happening with these planes and they talk about the news. However, it could have just been that the aircraft type model in the uh, flight simulator because it's open source flight simulator the model may not be as well developed as say the 777 in flight gear. So it could just be that having, you know, being on a flight that crashes or like knowing someone that was on a flight that crashes, you know, that's just um, something that no one really wants to go through. And I, I really feel for anyone, you know, out there that, that had to happen to them. Yeah, thank you for, um, yeah, thank you for tuning in and, and I hope to do more flight gear videos in the future. So if that's what you like to see, definitely, um, subscribe and I like this video and I will be back with more videos of this kind in the future. So thank you guys for watching this video and have a great day.